So majority rely on on loans on higher purchase. So that has been <coughs> a, a, a challenging point for us. Uh, the booking is still relatively good, but the moment you know we want to convert them uh, into registration, uh, we have some difficulty, or the customers have some difficulty. I believe the conversion rate later is about forty percent, forty percent, less than fifty. Yeah. Uh, less than fifty percent. <coughs> Sorry, what conversion rate? From booking to registration, mm -hmm. because when, when you book, you want to register, you apply for loan. So the loan process and the rest, the requirements. Uh, uh, I'm just talking about figures. That's why I say there are many reasons why some of the loans are rejected, or for some it is being reduced, or they have to pay higher rates. Yeah. So that conversion, which used to be you know, say two years ago, three years ago, it was in, in the 60s or in the 70s percent. Eh? It's now only about 48 percent. Now, on the export, the projection for this year is going to be plus minus summer than last year. Uh, about 4,005 to 5,000 units. Yeah? We are still in that learning process. Um, there's a lot of things that we have improved, particularly with regards to quality and the rest. Yeah, but as of now, for this year, it will s still be about the same level of last year. <coughs> the only difference is that uh, there has been a reduction in the D batch, but an increase in the P batch that we export. Yeah. P, P ini produk yang best lah D ini is Daihatsu yang best lah So Daihatsu we are only exporting it to Indonesia So there has been a, a slight reduction But net net total number is about the same as last year Because whatever reduction tu kita cover up through the produk yang best Particularly in Sri Lanka lah yeah. So Sri Lanka is Still, uh, as of now, it's still our, our largest export market in terms of the product of Ash. Other than what I could mention just now, uh, what happened was in September, it's not just Broadwell, the whole market actually dropped. Uh, pending official uh, MAA uh, numbers, but uh, upon our own estimation, Total industrial volume for September was only about 40, 41,000. That's very low. Uh, so that actually dropped, uh, bring down our, our uh, numbers. Uh, but compared to the same period last year, it's because last year we have the introduction. Yeah. 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 Uh, technology ini comes with price, yeah, come with price. Uh, so we, kita continuously look at technology, not necessarily EV. Other technology, other features in which we can put into our models, some other existing models or future models. Uh, at the same time, we know the expectation of the consumers, particularly, you know, Malaysian consumers. Um, you know, they want something good, good quality, safety, and so on, but they want it at affordable price. So this, this continues to be a big challenge for manufacturers like us. Yeah, because we have up in terms of our standard, our features. Yeah, so it's, it's becoming a big challenge for us, but nevertheless, it is a challenge which we, we have to meet the expectation of the consumers as much as possible. Yeah, so it is something we continuously look at. Yang sekarang ni pun yang the current technology, uh, ice we call it in short, uh, internal combustion engine ni pun banyak lagi kita boleh improve. Uh, that's why kita went into the EEV thing. Uh. Uh, we look at fuel consumption, we improve the fuel consumption, uh, we improve the, the emission. Yeah. So some of the feature yang kita buat ni, or some of the end result setakat ini pun, uh, it's either almost there or equivalent 
to other technologies.